Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently watched PK, and um, the Hindi translation of PK, it's another way to say somebody's drunk. But um, I can see why this was a controversial film. But honestly, I agree with, with PK's sentiment and his uh, viewpoint. I myself, though I am interdenominational, I was raised Protestant, I am spiritual. Um, I don't disagree with, there are some things with religion I don't agree with, but I mean organized religion, I should say. Spirituality, I think, is key, but it's, you know, he says the God who created us all, and he doesn't, he loves us uh, no matter what what we do, I mean, he's, <clears throat> he's, he's all knowing, he's all loving, and, um, he is in all things, and the other God, the duplicate God, is the one who makes the judgment, he's the one that, um, the Godheads created, like, uh, this man that, uh, Jagu, her, her parents, he's a guru, and, it just proves that he had the wrong number, like PK said, and the right number was the the one true God, the, the God that created all things, the God of of the whole universe, of universes. And PK, we learn he comes from another world where it's it's acceptable to walk around uh sans clothing and you know it's it's interesting. Uh you know, I'm going to be writing a, a story about um, a, poly, a polyamorous family uh, and their nudists in, in their own in the privacy of their own home. I thought, hmm, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but it's just intriguing. He he comes to this world basically as a child, and he learns how to to fit in, and um, he doesn't speak the language and he how they transmit thoughts is it's kind of like powder in a way because it's done through um psychokinesis or telekinesis i would say not psycho psychokinesis is moving objects with your mind uh telepathy telepathy is speaking one's thoughts mind to mind and they're able to transfer their thoughts just via the act of holding hands i thought it's exactly like powder and um <laughs> it was almost banned this film I read on the back it was almost banned in India due to the fact that there was a, a man walking around as Shiva and you know I didn't see anything bad about this film there were a lot of there were many things that actually made me laugh and uh, this is coming from a, a lady who loved the movie Dogma yeah I adored Dogma and Dogma is actually one of my favorite films, and it's it's on the same lines of, of Dogma and the, the whole controversiality thing. But uh, it, despite that, that is kind of iconoclastic in that way, it, it teaches a lesson, and I like that. And especially with Jagu's love, and she's in Belgium, and she falls for uh, Sharifaz, who's Muslim, and her father does not approve of that he just says oh no and um there's a, mis a miscommunication but he he loved her all the while we uh at the very end of the film well I, i'm actually not going to say that because it ruined the movie but it's uh just a, a wonderful wonderful movie it's excellent the songs are tremendous and uh pk actually falls for Jagu and he's like oh I mean it just it breaks your heart but you realize she had one true love in life and he actually said he would come and visit her later I thought it's <laughs> wonderful tremendous I mean it actually ends on a very happy happy note and um it just expands your mind it uh, challenges your beliefs and everything well for me it just uh fortified my understanding that in in our realm because there are so many others we 
just have one very small finite perspective and we're full of our foibles. However, the God of all things, uh, he is perfect, but <laughs> so wonderful and tremendous is he never expects us to be. I mean, he, he doesn't hold us to any exacting standards. We're all born with an innate sense of conscience from the time that we're born. We know good from evil. It's just, we can make our own decisions and it's up to us. And it's uh, like so many tenets, you know, we have the divine inside of us, but we shouldn't be holier than now. <laughs> but it's, it's so much is, is actually brought through this film and the philosophy and the uh, it challenges dogma, which I like. I mean, dogma, it has its place, but tradition does too. I mean, it serves its purpose, but um, we're all human beings, and we're just all trying to hump along and and uh, <clears throat> exist. Well, I shouldn't say exist. We're some of us exist, some of us live, but some people don't realize that they're, they're blinded to that. And of course, PK really illustrates that unbelievably well. And I, I absolutely adored this film. I mean, I loved every minute of it and it's really a beautiful, beautiful movie. And I'm sorry it was treated with such controversy and actually on the back, it says, that, um, yeah, in the Chandichok area of Delhi, uh, FIR was lodged against the makers of the film for allegedly hurting religious sentiments. <laughs> yeah, well, some people just take things a little bit too seriously, I think. I mean, it's just like, one of my favorite things, and... I don't know if this is blasphemous, but like I said, in Dogma, I just get a kick out of Buddy Christ. I, I think he's the best thing ever. I, I personally do think as Christ, of Christ as my as my buddy, okay? I mean, if, if that's going against the grain, then it's, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe that. I'm, I, Abba's, like I say, Abba's got my back. I say that so much, I mean, I don't even think about it. And I, I call... God, Ab I mean, Abba, he, he is my father, he is my mother, he created all things, and he breathed this world through, and he didn't just breathe it, but he sung it into creation, if you read it in the original Kabbalah, um, it's just, he has, he has many faces, he has many names, and, and many, um, visages, and this, uh, and this blue moat that we call Earth, this is our, our home, our, <laughs> plenty others out there but uh for the moment being this this is what we have and it's just for me it, it gave me a sense of uh hope and promise and knowing that I am absolutely correct in in my faith and my belief and not everything not everything can be proven either or but I think that there is an innate sense that there is something more than just what we can see with our own two eyes and what we can feel with our other senses. That, that's why we have physics and just all these different theories and yeah. But uh, it's just, it goes far, far into the expanse that we cannot uh, articulate well. And it takes a different kind of perspective, I think. And whoever wrote this film, I would love to meet. I would just you know, sing my praises, and they're a genius, but I actually cried watching this movie, too, is this just, just utterly spectacular, and I loved every minute of it, and it's, it's quirky, it's different, it's unique, but it's, it's also very uplifting, and if you're like me, you'll think, there is hope for humanity, and <laughs> this is it, it's, uh, not just, um, believing some, set a uh, form of um, rules and regulations but um, actually going from heart-based emotion and logic those two things the heart and the mind they will never lead you astray I mean we have what I like to call our own internal guidance system 
that uh, thankfully <laughs> our creator was um, <clears throat> gracious enough to uh, to give us. Uh, this is my belief. Well, maybe I'm crazy, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been called many, many things, but um, I'm not a zealot and I just, this is what I profess and I believe in everything that this movie taught and uh, that's basically all I have to say. I mean, two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down, one of the best films I've ever seen and uh, I loved Amir. He was absolutely terrific as a PK and um, I just I adore him and he's one of my favorite actors in a Hindu film but that's about all I have to say until next time oh yeah I actually wanted to do an update um, uh, despite everything I'm remaining very resolute and um, calm collected and I'm I feel at ease going forward with what I'm going to do with my dad. Uh, I had made a promise to him, and unfortunately I have to break it, but my promise to him was that I would never put him in a nursing home, but I have to because I have to work, and he has to be under surveillance 24-7, and I cannot provide that given my schedule and everything, but I, I am... Um, I'm given a sense of inner peace, and I know all will be well, and he will be in perfect hands, and I have a great cloud of witnesses that surround me, and uh, with the help of Abba, I will definitely get through this, but that's basically all I have to say. Till next time, live long, prosper. Ciao, Tootsie!